Shaber 1000 here. Today we're going to be hanging up a couple things for Monkey. Kind of like a honeydew list. The first thing is this thing here. It's not real heavy, but I want to make sure it don't fall off. So let's start hanging some stuff. Okay guys, so this is she still got her candles in from Halloween. These um, these glass things are glued in, all except for one. <laughs> that one there. And don't you know I'm the one that had to break it, and I don't know where I can get one to match. But and it's also got these little round things where you're supposed to hang it. But I can't. There's no way to get in there to mark that because I'm going to be using anchors. I'm not going to, I'm not just going to, you know. So, what I'm going to do is do what I did before and I'm going to hang it up here off of these two things eh, about right there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mark this, put one anchor there. One anchor there. I'm gonna set this down. Yeah, the one it was glued, there was glue in there, but it wasn't glued good enough. And I moved this for something, I think, when we was bringing the table in. And uh, of course, that's the one you know, it fell out. So I'm gonna put let's make a hole in here, and I'm using pretty good size anchors, probably overkill because it's not real heavy, but it is glass. So, uh, it used to hang over here. You'll see it in some of my older videos. It used to hang over here, but we she moved this over here. So, uh, I gotta move this. <laughs> so, let's go ahead. Put these anchors in here. screws in Okay, now that's not going to go anywhere. Man, I feel so bad about that, but uh, it was totally my fault. It's been sitting here getting dusty. And that's another thing, you can't take these out to wash them. You got to do it with them inside. So she's got some newer lights over there. I'm going to go ahead, put them in four, and then that one will be done. So, whoops. Not quite centered. There we go. All right. Let me go grab the lights. Right, I'm going to take all these out. They still work. Uh, I feel so bad. Like I said, she used to keep that dusting off every other day. You can see her over here with her little duster. And it sat down here for a couple of weeks on the floor. But like I said, that's stupid. You can't take these out to wash them. So, I don't know how she does it, but that'll be her thing. Got 12 of these. It came in a box. I don't know how much they were. We bought them at uh, Lowe's. So, what we got to do is, of course, pull the tabs out of the back. Just like that and it should come on and they flicker another thing is when you want them all on <laughs> you gotta take them all out turn them on there's what two four six eight of them that's okay she likes to have them on 
they last a long time I know we've left them on the other ones I just forgot about them left them on all night and they're still you know get some more here um, I think this weekend it's not written in stone but I'm tentatively tentatively uh, planning on my camp out so my little solo thing I'm gonna start doing every year and one more I could probably find a shot glass somewhere that'll come close to it but there they are all right that's the first project. Second project, we got to hang one of those baskets that we got at the uh, at the yard sale. And uh, you know what I'm gonna do? She wants to put the mail in it. So what I'm gonna do is take all these old ones and I'm gonna put them back in the into the things and put them back in the box so they don't get lost. All right. Yeah. So we're gonna hang that basket. It's gonna go over there above the computer. Yes, I have a computer out here in the kitchen. Dining area. <laughs> Kitchenette, maybe. Um, it's going to go beside that clock. And again, I'm going to use anchors for that because she's going to put mail in it. Sometimes mail can get heavy or you're reaching in. Um, this is just drywall, so I use anchors whenever I can. It's not that big of a hole. If you take the anchors out, it's not a big, big deal. So... Uh, we're pretty much going to do the same thing with that and then we got something else to hang up over there that I think she made a video on so let's get to those things okay guys kind of the same deal this project number two I think she wants it about right here we'll move it down a little bit for her so she can reach in there and I'm going to mark this hole like I did the last one mark that one If you're going to be drilling into walls, that's probably, you guys probably know this, but for those of you that don't, make sure there's no wires behind here. Now, I know this house pretty well. <laughs> I know there's no wires going through here, but like up in the ceiling, you know, because we don't have a basement or a crawl space, it's concrete slab. So the water line comes from over there, goes up inside that wall. And across to up in the attic so I know where that is I know there's no wires here there's no switches no plugs on this wall except the one down there and I know where that one comes from because I've had it out before so I knew I didn't have to worry about that same thing over there I knew there wasn't nothing in there that you know I could punch into so and I forgot my anchors okay so uh, oops hit you guys with my hat Get these punched in here. Now the other ones, the other project, the last project we're going to do, I'll have to use my drill, my new drill, the one that Dennis sent me. So that'll be cool. This has got slotted holes, so it should just see these holes here, one on each side. I should just be able to line them up. Oh, yeah, there it is. Now she can put her mail in there. So, all right. On to uh, is that street. No, it's not that street. Well, here's what we're going to do. We'll put it towards street and then tighten that up. Good enough. All right. Uh, now we're going to move on to project number three. Okay. Now for our final project. She has this thing. It's spring loaded. 
and she's got these hung up there for uh, for Bruno's medicine, some markers, and I think that's her mom's meds. Um, but they don't stay up. Which, monkey, remember I said it's not going to work. Why not? So, <coughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a hook here. A hook in the center. One of these center ones, there's two. I'm going to put a hook in the center of that and a hook over there on that end. So, I don't, I'm not sure where she wants these. I know she wanted them kind of far back. So, I'm just going to kind of go right about there. Which I have to take these off. Not a big deal. Right. Then I'm going to have to uh, take this end off of here. I'm going to slide my hooks on. Go like that. Yes, good. They fit. I knew it'd fit this end, but okay, so there's that one. There's the center one. And there's the outer one. So let's put our rubber piece back on. So I'm gonna drill a couple holes. Well, I'm gonna drill three pre pre-drill three holes. Why am I putting these on here? I can't screw these on yet. So <laughs> Alright, so what I'll have to do is grease on me. I'm out in the garage 10 seconds. I got grease on me. So what I'll do is I'll put them in there and then I'll just slide it through. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, uh, I forgot tape measure. Let me get something to measure with. Okay, I got my holes marked. I don't know if that's going to be long enough, but we're, we're, we're about to see here. So, now he said the battery may need charging on this. We'll just see how, how long it'll go, right? And as far up as I want to go, it's just to the end of the, uh, where the drill bit's cutting part of the drill bit is and that'll be perfect for me so I don't I didn't have to mark the bit right. now I'm gonna be in your way for just a second guys bear with me alright we had a bunch of problems with this thing like like this one of the drawers is falling out and busting and uh, nothing's lining up right, nothing's working right. And they're what they're trying to do is they're, well, it'll, it'll be after Thanksgiving, it'll be after Christmas. Well, I think it's January, the, uh, the warranty's up on this stuff. I think they're trying to kill time so they don't have to come take care of this stuff. And I, I, I'm a little pissed off about that, but so, I'm going to screw these little hooks in here. Like I said, I pre-drilled them, so they're going in pretty easy. With just my hand, and they'll hold perfectly. Uh, there's not a lot of weight there. got that one started okay now all right I'm gonna go ahead and screw the other one in and then I'll kick you back on when I'm ready to slide this bar through here okay I've got them screwed in there now let's go ahead and put this through here Just 
Alright, it's not going to be quite long enough. So what I'm going to do, yeah it will, yeah it'll stretch out there, okay, I'm going to stretch it into this end here and that should hold it. In theory, well, got the wrong plastic in on a rubber in. Turn that so we don't have that line down the middle. And there it is. Okay. Nice. Now, we're going to hang these back up. There's one. Now I'm going to hang the other two and I'll show you what they look like. Okay, there we go. And then the other one down there. Cool. Alright. I don't know why she didn't put a fourth one. Oh, because the coffee pot. Duh. That's why the coffee pot goes in. So. Alright. Now. I think that's all my chores. It's hot in this house. That is all my chores for today how about this I'll just raise you up there we go <laughs> that's all my chores I think she had on my list for today but I do have another project I'm going to be starting on here in a few minutes and um, it involves Santa Claus more decorations only this time we're going to fabricate something out of our own mind well part of store bought and part of it is we're going to think of something and uh, fabricate something so anyway you you'll get it when when you see it so uh, I mean you'll get the idea so I'm gonna put these tools away and uh, drills doing well so that's it for this one uh, this is just you know home improvement tips and tricks whatever that playlist I think it's called so it's time to go outside where it's really hot <laughs> Shea Bear the myth the man legend I'm gone for now don't forget to check out monkey 1000's channel go visit her and uh, see what her channel is all about um, she's getting some more content up so we'll see you guys in the next one so hopefully have y'all have a Enjoy the rest of your week. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.